Hello my friends and welcome to Turner Truck and Tractor. My name is Les and I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to give you a walk around and a tour of my 2021 John Deere 2025R with 50 hours. Threw a lot of digits out at you and hopefully this video will educate and entertain you a little bit and maybe help you out in your search for a tractor that's just right for you. We'll start at the front and go counterclockwise. It's got the 120R bucket, and I would recommend a front end loader to any subcompact or compact tractor. In fact, just about any tractor other than a row, car, row crop tractor, get a front end loader. It is handier than the pocket on your shirt. First thing I added was this two inch receiver. It's got the D-rings and chain hooks. I believe that came from JU Fabworks and it fit and installed easy. In fact, I've got a video on that if you'd like to take a look. Um, one thing that I did notice after moving my 16 foot cattle trailer and my brother's um, ski boat is this does flex and bounces if you get a lot of leverage on the end of this. I'm sure if you choke up on this, it will help a lot. However, on this little or thinner metal right here, you know, don't expect the world out of it when you lift. One thing I just did is added a two inch piece of channel iron that runs the full length of this 53 inch bucket. And then I bought some stainless steel eye bolts right here to bolt it together. Then I reuse these bolts and the same holes for that. So that should reinforce it and act like a truss underneath. I haven't used it since I've done that, but I suspect that should do the trick. As we walk around, another modification that I did early in it is add LD, LED lights to the front and to the side lights and to the turn indicators and the stop lights. And there's a great video by Good Works Tractor if you want to take a look if you're interested in that. Another addition I did was add a piece of turbo intercooling hose to the front and just shove that on the end of the exhaust pipe to make it a little bit longer so that the exhaust doesn't color or discolor you know any of the frame or loader work and when the front axle articulates that front tire has never touched it however should it just get just right and touch it it is flexible so no harm done to that so that was an easy addition and glad I did. This does have the R4 tires and for this environment, I think that is the best choice. Another tractor tire that is popular and that I like a lot is the new R14. That's sort of an all season, all tread, all purpose tire. And that's gaining popularity because of its unique application that it's a one size fits all tire. I've added the front hand handle right here, and I believe that came from Mud Customs. And for us older guys, that becomes a thing. And then in my particular tractor, I got the Auto Connect 60D mid mount mower. I know that's probably not the most popular option around, um, but for around here in my application, that seems to work just great for what I do. I can just get on the tractor and go, and I can mow. I've got about two acres that I mow probably anywhere from three to five times a year, and it works perfect. Um, I know, you know, zero turn mowers, you're another great option, you know, depending on your situation. I have had the mower off several times. One word of caution, make sure you have it on a flat level surface and especially the first couple of times, if you have a spotter, that would be great. That front hitch, or that bell on the front needs to find the slots just perfect or else you will fold things up and tear it up. I've come close to that, but someone stopped me before I did. So just make sure you're on a flat surface and take it slow and easy. But when it works, it works. The other thing that I had to do is when I first got the tractor and the first lawn mowing that I did, I noticed it wasn't level. So I did read the factory manual and learn to adjust it and spend a lot of time in the shop adjusting it. So I would say, you know, learn how to do it, be patient, you know, maybe do it more than once if you need to. The mower deck itself, I learned is really not symmetrical left to right and front to back. So if you take measurements off that, it will fool you a little bit. 
So, you know, look at the blades and take your time and you can make it work just great. And it'll give you a really nice finish. As we walk around, I've added the seat cover because I'm just that away. And right here is your two speed transmission control. Um, other tractors, in fact, a lot of them now are going to a three speed. I've never had a problem with the two speed, you know, finding a gear or a range that works for me, you know, that it's just right. Nothing's too fast or too slow, but you know, if two's good, then three's even better. So that was one of the compromises I made when I got this. And we'll talk a little bit more on that. I've added the one and a half inch boreless spacers to the back. Um, I'll take a little side note here. The 2025R is really close to the 1025R. You could call it a souped up 1025R. It has a stretch wheel base and uh, obviously the larger tires. And for me in my situation, this is the Goldilocks tractor. But I know it probably doesn't get all the press that it sort of doesn't get the press that a lot of the other tractors get. It sort of gets forgotten in the middle. It is the middle child, if you will. Um, you know, it's not really a one series. It's not like the big frame two series, but for me, it's just right. So, you know, keep that in mind. I like the bigger tires. I like the additional ground clearance and I like the longer frame because it to me, it fits my body and longer legs and it gives a little bit better ride and it's not choppy if you're like on a washboard type road. As we move to the back, it's got the three point hitch. I've added the quick hitch to the back. This is actually a Speedco version from Tractor Supply. Found it on sale and it was about the cheapest I could find anywhere. And then I scuffed it up and painted it a, a semi-gloss black to fit in a little bit better because it was that almost like the slow moving vehicle orange right there and it just really stood out but so far it works great i've added these um, quick pins for the smaller class one receiver hitch and once i got adjusted i don't need to move it anymore for my land plane but if i should i don't even need any tools for the bolts i just move those pins and that's been a great addition the uh, other little modification that i did it comes with one um, screw type adjuster so that way on your three point hitch you can move things horizontally um, up and down and then i bought another one and added it to the other side you really don't need to it's not that big of a deal it does lower the three point hitch or you have the opportunity to lower it a little bit more and i think raise it up a little bit higher so it does increase the range there um, with one it technically it is infinite infinite adjustment but with two i guess that's two times affinity and that's better so there we go there i have not used the pto i don't have any equipment currently that needs it and i know the old timers are probably laughing right now and calling it a city tractor for that reason it's got a document holder here in the back i don't really use it for anything again it's got the led lights in the caution lights and the stop lights. It's got a couple of cubbies for your tools and your drinks. This is a tool that I got from Harbor Freight and I use that to adjust the three point hitch. Here's a drink holder, 12 volts here, control joystick for your bucket. And like I said, it's got about 50 hours on it and I've performed the 50 hour service and tilt wheel, you can adjust the seat. And then here's one of the things that did sell me on John Deere. I am a big fan of the twin pedal control for the direction. Um, Kubota makes a great tractor. I look at those and I wouldn't be ashamed to own one either. They have a treadle pedal, but for me, and I guess how my body operates, the twin pedal just seemed more of a natural fit for me. And so I tend to gravitate towards tractors that have that twin pedal set up, but that I don't want to distract, you know, from Kubota because they are great tractors. And, you know, here's some of the compromise, you know, they have 
and several others have the three-speed hydrostatic transmission. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, but they're all great tractors out there. So it does make it hard to shop, you know, and, and when you're looking at stats just on paper or you put it on Excel spreadsheet, you know, it's hard to match them all up. The other big debate is metal or plastic for the hood and fenders. Um, that was really not a thing for me. It was way down on the priority list. In fact, it really didn't make any difference for me. And after owning this for two years, I can't say plastic or metal gets the job done any different. So we'll see how it goes. You know, that wasn't a big hang up for me, but it may be for someone else. And as we finish up, I don't believe I talked about the toolbox there in front. And, it, and there's not much to talk about. You can maybe put your gloves in there or a screwdriver. It's not the easiest to get to and it doesn't hold much. The other item that John Deere has that seems sort of gimmicky and you want to talk to an engineer, of course, is what you have to do to raise the hood. You have to put your key in there or a stick or something and then you gain access to the engine. Once you do that, um, it's easy to get to anything check the oil check the air filter these side panels come off really easy and so maintenance is a snap i don't know i've heard that that's an international thing for other markets it keeps the kids out maybe i don't know but it's just something you better have your key with you or a tool to get to it but other than that i've been really pleased with my purchase i'm a proud owner and it gets it done around here Please leave any comments or suggestions in the comments below, and hopefully this has helped you in your search for a tractor. I appreciate you watching. God bless you, and I will see you next time on Turner Truck and Tractor. Appreciate you.